This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, Dynamesh is generating low resolution results. What is happening? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a grenade model here loaded in. Now this grenade model consists of one single subtool, and it's at 2.1 million polys. So let's say you have a model like this that you may have created using traditional subdivisions or maybe imported in from an external application. So now that you have this model inside ZBrush, let's say you want to use DynaMesh with it. So you go to the tool palette over here, you'd open up say the geometry tab, you'd locate the DynaMesh area, you'd type in a resolution, so say something about 240-ish, and then you just simply click DynaMesh. Now you'll notice that when this model has been processed with DynaMesh, that I've got a extremely low resolution result. So it's taken that 2.1 million polygon model that I had, and now it's given me a 5,000 polygon model. So not exactly what I'm looking for. So how can I get the DynaMesh resolution to be higher and preserve those details and allow me to use the DynaMesh function on a model like this grenade here? So the quality of the DynaMesh is determined by this resolution slider here, and then also the scale of your model inside a ZBrush. So if I undo this to get back to my original 2.1 million polygon version of the grenade here, and now I go to the DynaMesh tab and let's just increase this resolution. So I'm gonna come over here and say type in 512 and now reprocess with that DynaMesh here. You can see that I'm getting more points now or more polygons being generated with DynaMesh and you can see the model starting to get cleaned up a little bit more. So you'll notice as I increase this resolution over here, I'm getting a higher quality DynaMesh. So if I undo this again and now say crank up this resolution to say something like 2048 and now click DynaMesh, you can see I'm getting closer to keeping all those details I had originally. So for this grenade model here, something like a resolution of 4096 should be able to hold everything on this. So setting my resolution to the maximum and now clicking DynaMesh is now going to give me this result. So now I have a DynaMeshed version of this grenade here and I'm at 2.1 million polys and it should be holding all those details I had on the original mesh. Now another thing you can change other than the resolution here is the size of your model. So if you go to the tool palette again and go to geometry and then open up the size area here, you'll see that the grenade model here has an XYZ size of 0.5. So by default, ZBrush likes an XYZ size of two. And so if you're using DynaMesh and your XYZ size of two, you're going to get higher qualities at a lower resolution. So if I come here and undo this process to get back to my original version here, and now keep this resolution at 240, but this time I'm gonna change my XYZ size to two, so increasing the size of the model. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. And now if I process with DynaMesh here, you'll see that now at a resolution of 240 on a model that is a size of two, I'm now getting 107,000 polys. So when the model was at that 0.5 and I DynaMeshed at that 240 resolution, I was only getting 5,000 polys. So the size and the resolution are gonna determine your DynaMesh quality. So if my model is a size of two, and now I set my resolution to say something around 1024 and click DynaMesh, this is going to give me that similar result as I had when the model was 0.5 and I had a resolution set to 4096. So a larger model and a lower resolution are going to give you the same results as a smaller model with a higher resolution. So you can use these sliders here interchangeably to determine or get the amount of DynaMesh resolution you're looking for. So if you ever run into the effect of DynaMeshing a model and having it go extremely low res, just check to see if your model is very small or if you're processing at a low DynaMesh resolution. So increasing the size or increasing the resolution should allow you to get more polygons when using DynaMesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.